Okay, so today I want to do work around uh, camera, camera views, rendering of those camera views. Now, in the main application, there are two systems that are setting camera projection view data that is then sent to the GPU. One is the system where I have like a camera pool, and then I have a system sitting on top of that, on top of both that and uh, the position pool. So what it does is like when it's when I go through the process of well processing the cameras, I go through them all and I check like you know if there's a, both a position and a camera together, then I create a you know create a descriptor set, update the data in some kind of mapped section of memory, and then I use that later. And this is unfortunately kind of having a couple of odd cross um, data is being used in ways I'm not entirely satisfied with, such as the camera is a set of a like, view X and Y's and a graphics descriptor, basically, like a handled directly which isn't really what I want. What I would prefer to have is basically just, you know, something like this, if that was the case. If this was supposed to be just a pure data implementation, it shouldn't have a descriptor. The other implementation I have is for XR, where I have, uh, where I don't have any data that I read from, like, through a pool, through, like, a, a component pool. Rather, it's just data that's just passed in directly from the application. So if I go to wherever this is actually used in here, what happens is like I go through each of the XR views, I set up the projection and the view data, and then I just for both of them, and then I just process them both raw. What I want to do is kind of work more closer to this system, but have both regular cameras and XR cameras be processed through the same system. Because right now there's two different implementations for what is basically the same thing. It's just because how they're sourcing their data is different. In addition to that, I'm not entirely satisfied with how I'm dealing with the actual like camera data itself either. Like getting... How the data is organized is not really great. Like this is assume this is based on a camera ID. It's every time it goes through, it's re out, it's refinding where that position component is and setting the local data to that. If that goes away, this dies. That's that's a terrible, terrible thing in the first place. Secondly, if I find. Yeah, same thing here. Processing the all windows currently are based on the data from the first window, which, you know, so if I had multiple windows being rendered, only the first window accepts input and can move the camera around. That's not great either. Uh, and again, when we're trying to find this, find trying to find the the the, the, the graphics descriptor. I again have to go through like the camera object like this. Like there's just way too much indirection for my mind for this to be really an effective or some kind of system. Even I'm having trouble wrapping my head around what I'm doing here. So I'm thinking of really, really, really simplifying it to the point where Okay, so there's two things to do, two things to simplify. One is like move the camera data to be far more local to where we're actually pulling and using the data. Like for one, I'm thinking of actually moving like the camera data, which is like the view X, Y, field of view, near, far, Z planes, and the position orientation to be associated with the window instead. So that I can move views in different windows independently, and I don't have to have entities representing those cameras. Especially like if a 
a window is going to do more interesting things. Like it's going to take pull from multiple views at the same time. That means like this just becomes incredibly unwieldy. And the second one was what uh, the common system for like getting or setting up sending data to the GPU and, and getting those descriptor views, descriptor sets, handles at least. So the first thing is, of course, I need to make sure, hey, you know, does this actually work right now? Uh, do I have XR on? It doesn't look like I do. Okay, let me just get that on real quick. Okay, let me uh, rerun that again, make sure XR is working. Hopefully I can also get, um... ah, no, it's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, did I enable it? That would might help first. Do, 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 do. Yes, enable it, shall we? Okay, there we go, now it's working. All right. So first things first, the, the common way for uploading uh, projection view data to the graphics device or the graphics system, um, which should be very similar to what we already have here. So let me just have a quick once over what I got. I got buffers. I got a capacity that's dynamic that updates every time because of how I do it right now. Device allocator. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And how do I create the once I have because I'm going through and recreating the descriptor sets as well every time. Do I need to do that? I don't really think well. Yes and no. have a look here hmm okay I can work with this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do I'm gonna change it up so it's gonna be like a static system so I'm gonna create something in let me see how things are done this is part of bring up shared this is part of the main application, so they're across boundaries. That's not great. Okay. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it render 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 view pool. Put it as C for now. Maybe CPP. Uh, maybe C. I'll see how I feel about it. Okay, let's get some of the basics done. Let's get the copyright at the top. This is new. Under view pool. Okay, uh, I need extra and C stuff. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, I need some handles. I'm going to need graphics session dot h if we include result for now so the flow define handle flow graphics render view pool and then we're gonna have and that pool is going to be like a it much like a descriptor pool descriptor set pool it's going to be for the moment static which would mean 
you have a pool of up like up to 32 render views, and then you can allocate or pull out, you know, up to 32 different render views that you can then directly upload data into. So, oh, graphics render view, something like that. Uh, I need to create this. Mm -hmm. A session. View count. Given needs. Standard int. And then that uh, we need to have course of the destroy function. I uh, need the ability to pull out one of these things. Oh, graphics result. Uh, sorry, oh, result set. That's. Render view itself. That will be given to the camera or the window or whatever. And that's how we would do things like upload data as well as pull out the descriptor set that's currently active, I think. Would that make sense? That would probably make sense. Yeah. The allocates and update render view. Render view, we have U N thirty two, which is like the, the, the data size that we're updating. Um the data that we're actually updating it with. Do I update? Yeah, faux graphics session. Because what I'm thinking of is what I'm thinking of is when you because what I'm doing with the main application is I'm trying to separate like the iteration, the, the, the tick, the processing of, let's say, the simulation from the render view, what I want to be able to do is to go through several times updating uh, the render view for the moment. But the idea is like this would also, like this kind of almost buffered thing. I would have a CPU buffer of the data of like, you know, however much. And then I would update this during the simulation as much as I want, basically, at free of charge, without having to muck around with graphics stuff. And then when I actually get into a graphics like render tick, then I would up, you know, take what I have from that CPU buffer and put it onto the GPU, so that like I don't accidentally try to run simulation updates and accidentally update the graphics thing. Especially because, like, let's say I have in a, 
let's say I update the window during a simulation tick, but I don't up update the window in the tick where there's a graphics update. In which case, like, if I'm relying entirely on, like, you know, trying to have, like, you know, modify tracking from, for, through other systems, such as through, you know, the, the component pools and that, then I would lose, then I would basically miss that. So I can't let that happen. So I need to have a separate buffer for that before I send it to the GPU or to the graphics device, whatever that may be. So that's why, like, when I update the, update the render view, the render view is just pointing to some CPU buffer somewhere, CPU visible coherent buffer don't need to involve the graphics system and then that's why this one is separate like after you've done all those modifications then you just update the entire buffer one go that's uh, that's what i'm thinking um let me go resolve sets how do i get the descriptors uh, view set out bk Get render view descriptor set that would still require probably this or hmm I'm not entirely sure this and this for the moment because I think like the current index would be stored in the render view pool rather than the render view because that's like a whole that's updated at this point I'm pretty sure Okay, so let's go through, get some implementation of this so it, it becomes a bit clearer. I'm not sure what I modified here. Okay. So I have the red, okay. This is C, right? Yeah, the type depth. So, oh, graphics render view going to include the buffer from the larger buffer, so like the, the subsection of the large pool buffer that we're, we, we're allowed to modify. The size of the buffer we have, and then uh, the descriptor sets. Which is currently depo graphics max buffered frames, kind of say. So, but that will include both the type defs for the moment. We end that. Uh, this. Oh, right, right, right. So this is the VK implementation, first of all. Do that. Bow, define, handle casts, uh, render view to this. That, okay. Then we need the actual pool type. So type that struct. And we'd have to define the casts here as well. So render view pool. So <clears throat> in this, I'd have void star p buffer, p buff, no buffer, because then I'd also have the GP buffers p local buffer, simulation buffer. That, I'll call it that for the moment. Uh, I have the number of views. And then I have a number of these. Uh, 
Um, I have a descriptor uh, pool. Which will be the max buffer frames in the same number again. I really want to make this... I'm going to have to want to make this... Um, Dynamic. I want to make this dynamic as well, so I like I, it's not based on this. I can increase and decrease the size. Perhaps get some um, optimizations on it, maybe sometime. Buffer. Okay, buffer. This again. DMA allocation. To include the um, VK memaloc for this. Okay. So first of all is the creation of this thing. Which I can probably grab from here. Almost. Okay, this is a handle-based opaque handle-based system, so First of all, I need a return result equals to flow result flow graphics. I'll bring up success. I need to include result. I need to assert view panels greater than zero. Probably. Not really. Yes, no, I don't. Mm. No. I'll have other systems in here that'll deal with that. Okay, so I need to. Okay, pool. So we need photo graphics. Okay, render view pool. The new view pool equals malloc or calloc. The one and the size of that. Need standard lib for that. Yep. Okay. If this is null, so it didn't allocate, then I need to return. Yeah, just return it straight up. Uh, bring up error um, out of memory. Otherwise, after this point, um, yeah, allocate. Simulation buffer. So he knew that Simulation buffer size equals okay. Right now, this is a specialization for render views, which means, um, I need to figure out the size of each item because I believe yeah I have this minimum uniform buffer offset stuff so I need this I need this and I need to say hey you know this is I need to include the Vulcan specific version 
graphics VK session. So I can get the Vulcan specialization functions for graphics session like that. And then I need to say, hey, you know, the, what is this? Like, unsigned long size T, yeah. Were you in 32T? I'm not really like, uh, hmm. Maybe, okay, whatever. Um, minimum buffer offset alignment, min buffer alignment equals, uh, let's say this, the moment, which is what, 64, right? That's the size of a four by four float matrix. So actually, times 16, which is also that, right? That's constant, okay. Or it's almost a constant. If uh, this is greater, then it, that it becomes that instead. That's an interesting uh, uh, alignment. So I'm going to want this around. Okay, we have that. Now, simulation buffer size is going to equal uh, how? Okay, the view count times the min buffer alignment. And then we allocate it. The simulation buffer equals malloc. that okay what's going what on earth is going on here what oh what I have word wrap on really since when since when do I have Okay, that was confusing. Okay, uh, if P, that P simulation buffer was not created, then I need to do I can't do that. I need to set result equals this. Then I need to go to Okay, I need to have something like this down here where I create fail. Because I've allocated at least this, I need to at least clean this up. So that means create failed if results dot value. It's okay to return already on this one because there's nothing to actually clean up. There's just literally been nothing done. So I just leave. But if I've done if I've done at least this and allocated this on this on the in the heap. I need to at least clean this up, plus whatever else I've created in the meantime. So if that, then I need to go, or actually two things. If it's successful, then I need to say star t render view pool equals view pool to handle from p new render view pool like that. Otherwise, then we go through go oh, graphics delete render view pool with basically the same thing. Okay. Really? What did I call it? Graphics just destroyed. Right. 
and then return results. Okay. That's the intermediate data buffer or the simulation buffer. So I need to allocate the views, allocate the views. Here under views equals alloc times view count times the size of the minimum buffer. If basically that again, with all the, is that everything? Do these all still be nulled? Then I need to go through the graphic section. Do I want to put this in a separate function? I could. Ah, I'll leave it here. <clears throat> Can I do like C? Equal size of I'm sixteen to put that in place of here. I'll leave it like that for the moment. Uh huh. <clears throat> So I need to get the, from here, I need to get the layout view in the binding. So what is this? This is a descriptor set layout. It's basically just this. And this, so I need to include this. No, maybe not. No, this would have been it. Oh, I'm also not actually making this, am I? I need to actually render view, register, render view. So like the Clang D isn't uh, quite, doesn't know where it's looking for a lot of stuff yet. Okay, graphics, leave that for a moment. Or, <clears throat> no, hold on, graph, oh, graphics, oh, no, void, oh, graphics. Boy, render view that cool. So, oh, graphics render view cool star P. From handle. E render like free. That I need to go backwards. So if P 
Render view pool, p render pool views, not equal null, then I need to create that. P simulation buffer. Get that going. <clears throat> so I've got some problems. These are still unknown for whatever reason. Why? I mean, it, no, it, it's going into here, built in descriptor sets. It sees these things. Oh, built in the script. No, these are C. These are C. Oh, that's why this is C. That. There we go. Oh, and I need to pass in the session. Right. So got that simulation buffer, the render views, and then we're into the graphic section. Okay. Do I need actually, I don't need, do I? If I know the size of the total thing in the first place, I don't actually need multiple descriptor pools. I only need one. I could just create it, like have it in the same number of descriptors as three sets and then just divide them by three. Since I'm not resetting them or moving them around, since this is a static, unchanging buffer size overall, yeah, crypto pool. So create one, just one. So if we go down here, descriptor pool size equals descriptor count equals. We have uniform buffer, we have view count times x. Okay, can I actually change this up? I want to change it to be like, no, 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 no. Just this. That times that. All right, equals that. Create the script pool create info. There's one of those, there's a maximum set of this. Create it. I need a VK result for this. P and P knew this for descriptive pool that. If we pay results, what equals success? Then we have to go through result equals two total result of the paid results. Then we need to go to that. So I need to include. that we need to add it on the other side so
This is the wrong order. I want to do something else. Um, DK device. Bonds. Do I even like? Yeah, I'll have maybe multiple. I'm not actually sure. Hold on. And this is all internal, anyways, so it's going to get like um, optimized out, isn't it? So I'm not really that. Okay, next. So I have the, all the descriptors. Well, I have all the descriptors in the pool. So what I might have to do now is... Okay, I need the buffers, and then I need to like marry the buffer. I need to create the descriptor sets, put them into the views. Okay, so... Create the graphics buffers. Create info. I should have this down here somewhere. Right about here. So this is... Is view count. Uniform buffer. Yes. This will be CPU to GPU for the moment only. I'm not going to bother with anything fancier quite yet. Uh, would it be? Oh, it's VK result. I need to get the allocator buffer. Okay. This is going to be times three, isn't it? So. Plus I. The allocator of the section. That, that, we have the buffer, which is he knew this to buffers plus I. Or I can do that. What else was there? Location. And allocation info, don't care about that right now. If result is not as expected, we do that. I need to destroy these things. Frames. This is not an all handle. Then we need to go through and do the VMA destroy buffer. allocations okay 
go through. We're clearing them out. I don't have to, I don't have to nullify anything because the entire struct is free down here. So that was creating the buff. Okay, now I need to marry the data together. I need to allocate. Allocate descriptors and um, render views. By size offset or memory offset is zero. Something else I'm thinking of. No. Okay. So. Not mapping. We're, we're just this. So I need to. How many, how many times do I do? Okay. This is common data. This is all on the P new. View pool. Restore pool. We have one, and it's the layout of okay. That looks about right. Super set AI. I is less than the view count. Um, I need allocate descriptor set, and then I need to set up the descriptor set. Can this be? This is changing every time. This. Times max view count, which is a whole bunch of times. So this might be better. To... Okay, I'm just going to put them here for convenience for now. I'll do something better maybe later. So we have uniform buffer. So this is... Hmm. We're not doing this quite yet. We're doing this. The range is C view data size. The offset is memory... Offset. Um, view memory offset. It starts up at zero. This every time we go through a view, we're going to increase it. So after this point, view memory offset plus equals min buffer alignment we have buffer info we have projection view binding we have set this is the, the set we're doing i don't have the set yet okay i just don't have the set yet so it's going to go each view count, then I'm going to go in the max. Okay. For you in for T I equals zero. I uh sorry, not I. I already have I. J equals zero. J less than so graphics max buffered frames plus J. So first of all, we allocate the descriptor set. That's just one. Doing that, we have and set allocate info. We have p new render view pool for p render views times i. Yes, i 
got descriptor set plus j. That's that. Get the failure case. I think that's correct. I don't have I do not have to destroy or deallocate these things because when I destroy the descriptor pool, they'll go poof anyways. Okay, so buffer info dot buffer is the current J buffer. Uh buffers J. The right set equals, sorry, dot destination set, I think it was, equals this thing we just created, allocated. Then we say DK update descriptor sets, which is just the one. Let's just do it one at a time for now. This returns something maybe no so we have one we're not copying anything we're just just that and that should be it Showing graphics buffers is the last thing we actually allocated. Okay. Next would be to update the render view pool. So this is hmm. I need this. Nope, not there. There. Sorry, I um next buffer index equals the render view pool current buffer index plus one. If the uh, next buffer index is greater than or equal to max buffer frames, and next buffer index equals zero. I need to map out the buffer we're copying stuff into from the simulation of map data. Call that data. Uh, this is not. This does to have a VK result. Map memory. Before session. The allocation is. Render view pool, uh, allocations next, and this is the just okay. And the map data, I need to return. Seem bad, it's just a straight up, yeah, because I don't have anything else. If I fail to map it, then that's it. So if BK result. And just return it to the result of the EK result. Otherwise, we're doing men copy, I guess. So, destination, source, even render view. Render buffer, simulation buffer, 
it's the size of it, I guess. Proper size. Go there, and I need to include string for that. This and this. So p render view pool current in the upper index equals next. And then I need to reduce the current. Success. Next is allocate the render view. How is this going to work? In fact, why do we even say that it has a size? Oh, because I'm probably going to, right, right. I'm pretty sure like a lot of like this stuff to do with the buffer, CPU buffer stuff, I'll move out. So I want to keep that for the moment. But I do need to set this as I'm going through the render views. So it points to the right location in the buffer. So per view count, Set the P render views I dot P buffer equals um, min buffer alignment times i, basically. Oh, sorry. How would I? Plus this. So I need to basically say, hey, it's a u and a t buffer. Sorry, that he knew that he simulations buffer, simulation buffer. So that plus that many offset for raw data, yes. Okay, yes, uh, allocating the render view. This requires this again. What I'm going to do is, uh, for the moment, I'm going to use uh, the buffer size as the flag, you know, whether or not it's zero or 64. Because I set everything to null, right? And I created this as a catalog. Yes. Wait a second. Wait a bloody... Yeah, this doesn't have to be this. This is the render view. So this is just the size of these. Do it. A little bit out of... But it's... That is correct, yes. Okay, so allocating each of these. So I need to go through for uh, uint equals zero. I is less than p render view pool view count. Render view. Star equals plus I. It's just that, right? Yeah. 
if p view p render view uh, bucket size is zero. We'll return this. So we say p render view uh, bucket size equals c view data size. Then we'll say, hey, I already have the buffer pointer set up. I have the descriptors set set up. Okay, yeah. So star p new p render view. Ooh, yeah, that's um equals that uh or equals a that. And then we return. Two flow results. Success. Otherwise, we went through and didn't find any. We need to return. Um, let's return that for now. Uh, deallocate. Not deallocate free. So we do this. Set that. That's, I mean, that's what I used to use previously, so. Render. You from handle so just say p render view buffer size equals zero and that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so I don't even have to I shouldn't do anything here. Just don't return anything. It it just does it. Magic. Okay, updating the data. This is extremely simple. I'm actually just going to void that. It's just going to be a case of this. And then mem copy to... Oh, 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 no, no. Because if the data size is larger than the allocated area, ooh, then I want to return something about that. Data size is greater than the render view. Going to return an error. Otherwise, mem copy. P buffer P from the data. That return to for result success. Save that so that updates correctly. Yes. One more thing, and that's to return the descriptor set for current view. So I need two things. I need this. View tool. And this is just going to be returning <clears throat> this descriptor sets times p render view pool. Hmm, I do need a better way than this. I really do. Just 
do that. That means this does require that, but only for this one. So actually, you know what? Don't know how I got that. I'm just going to put it down here. So it's like very obvious that this is a subset. This will, I would split this into a different header, like a Vulcan spe specialization header. Okay, that compiles. Great. Let's start using it here, somewhere in here. Um, for the VR, uh, the XR stuff. Or can I do it? Can I do it in simulation? I think I can. If okay, I need to include uh, render render. Dot H. Wow, I just cannot type today. <clears throat> just add it to the end. We'll include it here. Oh, it's already included, so I need to go down to initialize part of the part of the graphics. Do it here. Equals this. No. Do it here. Oh, graphics. Eight. Render view pool. We have the graphics session. Oh, wait, what? Yes, graphics session. Uh, I'll say 32 for the moment. For result, yeah, we'll just put it here. Do you initialize? Same thing. I not have the session. I don't. I don't have the session. I don't keep it. I keep everything around it. session okay that got this got that I want to update the camera so for the moment it'll have oh in order to grab the descriptor set I need to have both things okay oh fix render view pool That will include under view pool that this is temporary. All right, I'm not making things worse. Swear, I swear. So I got that, I got that. I need to go in the process cameras, 
on a per camera basis. So about here looks like. Kind of do it here after I've set up the matrix stuff. Okay. If key camera data gets dots render view null handle. Then I need to allocate one. So oh, graphics result result equals. I don't have a result, do I? Temporary. Update render view. So. And this return that. Otherwise, I need to say pool equals render view pool. So I have access to it outside for the moment. Return result. Oh, come on. I don't even return a proper type. Okay. That's there. We can go to return that. Move that down here. Great. This return BK to the result of that instead. Oh, I, I do have it. It's there. Where was it? There you are. Great. So I set that up, and then I have to uh, oh graphics update render view, which is this, with the data we have, which is the size of mat four, which is the p data of what p matrix. The moment. Okay. At the end of this, I then need to do oh, graphics up load update render view pool and session. And it's just that. Okay. Make sure that's not going to break immediately at runtime. And then we. Mm hmm. That's not actually right. Not linked into this one, but it is now. Okay. Run. Not not great. Not great. Not great. And then it dies. How? How does it die? Why? Why does it die? What? Okay, let me try that again. Without, let me turn off XR. I'm doing as little as possible. True. No, not quite yet. Not quite there yet. So where do you stop? Okay, do I what am I what am I doing? I'm doing something wrong in here, that's for sure. It must be this. Something I'm doing inside of here, right? This is the only thing I can think of that would be a bad result. Which it was. Okay. Good and bad. Why? Hmm. 
Okay, we got that. We have a bunch of view pool. I do not set the view count when I allocate this thing. Do I? I guess I kind of put it up there. One of the first things after I allocate. Set basic values. View new render blah blah blah. View count. Try that again. Okay, we got that. We're actually going to return something successfully, so that's great. We're on the way. We're good. Great. So I'm. I got everything. We kind of uh, close others. Application. I have the entire thing is. And done. All I'd have to do is go all the way down here to where I'm passing in the camera descriptor. I say, hey, you know what? DK descriptor set camera descriptor. Equals photo graphics. Get DK. Get Render view descriptor set. So from the P camera still get dot render view pool. We're grabbing that and we're going to use that instead, right? No. Ooh, that was ODR violation. Really? One definition rule, right? Okay. Um, okay, so let's move these things out of here. So we're not not here and not here. We'll put it down into where it would eventually be. So this needs to so cut that graphics PK source, put that in there. That and then I need to kind of I just split this up into two, so I got this, which goes up here. However, I have that little Vulcan bit that needs to be moved out, so copy that. Just okay, copy this actually. Paste it in here. Graphics VK render view pool. So that that and that. So this is just. Um, render view pool. Okay. Oh, but I do need I need to uh, start exporting all this stuff. So as well. So this and we move that. Kind of add the space to the paste. Include. All right, and then we go down. This is correct. BK. I need to go down to here. I need to include both of them. Oh, and I need to change the the. Um,
uh, local result, local VK result. That's good. So those. That is one, two, three. These were different errors I wanted to do. So bow. DK error. What would uh, a V? What would that return? What would that return? Okay, let's DK uh, allocate descriptor. I think is what it's called. Like, what would this return if it if I can't if I don't have another out? Uh, okay. Find the next location. Here we go. You return. What do you return? Out of fragmented pool. Out of pool memory. Okay. That that sounds that sounds reasonable. Result. So pool memory negative this twenty six so put that all that I also need to add it here ooh I'm missing a couple from here okay I'll fix that up later. As long as I get, I'm returning something. Um, data size, buffer size, sys. Larger than size. Data larger. Then lar larger than buffer. And we'll put that down here as another one. Like that. Data larger than buffer. That sounds looks good. Okay. <clears throat> I have all that. Then I move on back down to here. Here, you're going to include render view pool. That's all you need. Same thing for the camera system, right? Yeah. This also doesn't require anything specific. Yep. Pretty implementation agnostic. The only thing that does is this. Okay. Try this again. Wonderful. Okay. So let me uh, state what I have here. Now, start ripping stuff out of the old one. <clears throat> old camera system, so I don't need this or this or this or this or this or basically any of this. I need these two still. I don't need this either. So that means going up here. It's gone, gone, gone. Basically all this is gone. Uh, 
that's all we're doing. Okay. These are all gone as well. That is reset though. Uniform buffer, all of this stuff, including down to the mapping of the memory. Gone. This is gone. Key buffer data. Oh, uh, this is. Local now. Matrix. And matrix. We're not doing this stuff. We're not going through all the rigmarole and work of recreating these every time. We're just doing the results. Oh, and yeah, M section. Okay. Okay, that is good. So this is removing a lot of stuff. So let me turn on uh XR and do the same thing to the XR camera system. So to begin with, I need We get these, we're going to put them in on the, oh, this is just initialized straight up with the graphics session to begin with. So, this session, create render view pool. Uh, we'll just say it's 16 for the moment. Render view pool, we got that. Ah, we are returning a proper result. So we do this. All right, uh, session view, I have the camera, so that means I need oh, graphics render view pool. So got those, I'm going to do those so same thing again here camera system we're going to have to go through if 
that, then we're going to have to do that. So after after we've created the matrix, if XR view I dot sorry iterator All right, same kind of thing. So graphics update render view, which is giving iterator dot render view. We got four and the matrix. The moment we do that, <clears throat> all the session views, then we uh, update render view pool. Make sure that's not breaking anything. Oh, and yeah, this is true. Make sure, yes, it's still rendering, still connected. Let's go. Make sure I don't have anything quite broken yet. Okay, good. So now in the application, we go to where I render that scene right about here. Here we go. This. So VK. Oh, graphics. VK get render view descriptor set, which is from iterator dot render view pool. Render view that. Ride this. Would I have wait when? I just want to make sure I've like updated the cameras before I've gone into the render code, which I have. Let's see. Does XR? Yes, it does. Okay. So let's kind of uh, remove this stuff then. Basically all of it. Oh, get out of here. This, this stuff up to here. It's going to become a local variable in a second. Matrix, get rid of that, get rid of all this stuff. This actually just starts here. Or just that. This stuff is gone. This stuff is gone. Make sure that's still good. Oh, I should actually be checking. I need a val run need a a validation run too now. Okay. So we got that. Let's try a validation run. Actually, can I just this? Hold on. What's the setting? What's the uh there you are. Help the GPU graphics validation. 
I can turn it on without actually changing this file all the time. All right. It doesn't seem to actually work as I had intended it to do. It doesn't actually work. Okay, cool. Fine, 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 fine. No issues found yet. Whoa, okay. Right, let me run this in something that has a bit more space. I forgot that the old version of Steam VR I'm running, which is 114, had a lot of issues, so. Do this. Uh, build foe, bring up. Bam. Uh, okay, there's actually a lot of things. Okay, so. Okay, shader issues, which I haven't seen before. Um, what is this? One, two... Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, these are the one. These are the uh, items not being destroyed by. Okay, these are things not being destroyed by Steam VR on this old version. So that's fine. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Okay, that's XR. Okay, so that's. The XR library itself, XR library, same thing. Is there anything I can do? I don't see, there's just a lot of stuff. XR. I guess it's just okay. I'm just going to assume that it because I don't actually have issues when I'm not running XR that this is all XR stuff, but it works as I expected otherwise. So let's turn that off again. Okay, let's stage what I have here. Okay, so that's creating the common system for render view sending to graphics implementation. Now I need to move on to moving around the, the camera data and stuff. So right now, of course, I don't want that. I don't want the, okay, first of all, the render view, the pools should not be here. They should be elsewhere. So application, XR, so instead of this, Okay, not quite there yet, right? Hmm. Okay, so now uh, moving the camera data uh, out of the pool, out of the component pool into to be located closer to where they're actually used. Much in the way like how XR view data, the view camera is embedded with the view session view data, like the rest of this stuff. I'm going to do the same thing for the regular camera, but that's going to be like to do to um, with wherever window is, which is here. So uh, used to have that. 
And that's also going to include the position data. So I don't have to keep like, I don't move the camera, go into the component pool, find the camera, move that and come back out. Cause the camera is like uh, uh, not, it's ephemeral or ephemeral. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I don't really see much value in having the camera be, at least for like the cameras that are to attach, attached to windows in that or the XR view, like um, render views that are attached to Windows or XR devices. I don't really see much point right now having them in, in, in the component pool. Is it a bit too complicated or complex? It's much simpler if I just kind of set data manually here into my mind. So all that to say, let's move the data around GLM. Function knowledge PP. This will also make it a bit easier for the moment to deal with multiple windows at the same time instead of all, them all inheriting from the base camera. It's kind of weird. Sorry. Uh, field of view Y near Z, far Z. Render view. Set that for now. That goes there. That's all of that. That's okay. So in the application, I'm going to roll all the way up here to where we're creating the windows. Right about here, and I will be saying dot position equals. I believe it's zero zero negative seventeen and a half right now. Zero zero negative seventeen and a half w of one. Negative seventeen and a half. Okay, so the W is first. Say that for the, for the, um, for the moment. So if this is the case, that means I can then right now have render view pool. Sitting around here, application, back to the application. So we have that, this, so data, is this after I've initialized graphics? Yes, it might be. Let me find it. Or is Windows first? No, it must be. I said it before, right? Graphics, okay, here's the runtime. No, the Windows first. Not so great. Another location where I do it, not really. <clears throat> okay. After this point, result equals photo. Create the render view pool. It's thirty two again. Usual escape. Then we've got to go through four auto and iterator window data. For each window, we're creating 
Oh, graphics allocate in review. Same thing here. We also need to deinitialize just before simulation graphics XR. Render target around here, I think. Oh, here. We need to also for this render dot render view equals at that. I need to update this. So we're not giving it a this anymore. We're giving it just plain old. Turnian, start the orientation. more okay rolling down to here camera position process okay this isn't this anymore this is now hmm how do I do this okay for the moment <clears throat> this is window data zero dot position Orientation. So that would mean, okay, now I need to go down to wherever I did the camera, processing of cameras, so that's here. Now is it before I put a new frame? Or what, wait. Okay, we'll do it here, I guess. Yeah, um, at for matrix equals. That that's a local, isn't it? Yeah. So it's times that. So we're close. that the camera dot HPP it's this the view y this is oh yeah yeah IT dot acquired image data dot stand dot width. This is a UN. This is expecting a float, right? Yeah. Would it be here? Oh, no. It would be outside of it 
something like this. Or whenever the last time I would update the uh, window size, so it would be like here, around here perhaps. What is this? Okay, I need to kind of maneuver some things around for sure. But I see. So that's the matrix. And I would want to. Something like this. So in this case, so in this case and in this case, I need to, okay, I need to, if I see that wired image, then I need to do this. So I'll take that, I go through each of them, and then after this, if we're not skipping, then we want to do photo graphics. Updates, render view pool. We do that, and then we go down to where we're doing it. So render scene right about here okay this is now window oh, sorry graphics render view pool window dot pointer yes Okay, so I no longer need the camera pool or the camera. This is all gone. That's now associated on a win per window basis. So I just need to do it for the XR now. And then I needed to start ripping out the old camera stuff. So, graphics, render, view, pool. Or what, what's it called again? XR BK camera system. This will be what XR views what size. I can just do that directly. If XR render view pool. So do that. Really? XR graphics destroy render view pool. Oh, that. Okay, and then we have the one last, this is the location where we would have updated that stuff. Oh, graphics update render view pool. So we've already updated the data from here for the moment. Yeah. Ooh, would we? 
I haven't uplet I don't update it locally. Ooh, okay. XR Thunder of you pool. Get rid of this. We have the extra camera. What's what is exactly in here? We got that, that, and that. Okay. Changes to hmm. Right. I don't really have any way to because this is based off of the camera position that's found in main pool. So. I'll keep this. And. Not hmm. okay. You know what? I know what the position is. It's <clears throat> static. So I'm just going to say for now. It's that position times that. So the render view we're putting up is the uh, is these two things times each other in the main application so um we're going to just trash these trash all three of these like this so it's going to be the xr projection matrix times the view matrix take the render view which is that we're going to do I did set up I haven't set up XR to actually look at it have I I created the render view pool the startup section here What if, okay, I got that. Okay, no, 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 let's move this up before the view so I can go through in each view and do that. To do that, create the render view pool down here on a per view basis, it becomes uh, allocate render view it's a render view pool and view dot render view okay so that should be that I get rid of I already got that rid of that so okay let's try it Ooh, it's already enabled, so let me make sure, move it around so it's going to be rendered, and let's see how bad it breaks.
because very quickly, very quickly it breaks because I don't have this anymore. That's true. But I'm not even using this piece of metal anyways. IT render view, so it's just X R render view pool now. Common pool. It's just not gonna run or what? Okay. XR is correct. Okay. Stage this stuff and let's start ripping out the old systems entirely. So this gone, gone. XR camera system gone. Uh, the old systems. This, uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. That's just gone. This, just gone. I'm not missing something, am I? Just make sure it runs correctly. Good. So we got rid of these two files. And that. Now. Camera stuff. Camera stuff, which I just had to keep updating for view X and view Y, like you're constantly and all this stuff. Um, oh, I don't need this anymore. That's for sure. Or I just don't need either of these, right? Eliminate these systems. Poof. Camera system gone. That means camera's gone. That means camera pool's gone. Camera IMX is gone. That means, all right. So I'm going to have like this. This is gone. These are gone. There's a lot of locations where this stuff is. Whoop. Camera gone. When I register the bring up registration, there would have been camera stuff in here somewhere. Camera pool. We're not iterating through that anymore, so that's gone. Camera's gone. Simple enough. Uh, the simulation, so the binary. Exporting and importing binary stuff is gone. Close that. Export registration. It's gone. It's gone. I think that's it for here. YAML. Um, uh, because I was pulling it from elsewhere, but this should because it was a header. It was a header only thing. So. Gone, gone. Um, struct, yes, I would have had stuff here too. Reading and writing camera 
data two from YAML, that's gone. Anything else? Binary? No. Yes. Yes, it would have been in here. Cam was gone. Hey, what was it? There? Whoa. What's here? Reading and writing from binary. What would this have been doing then? Importing and exporting. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what exactly is going on here. Or why I seemingly have more than one. This is reading and writing. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. This is reading and writing a binary, the actual struct in memory to and from raw binary. Read, you know, reader, readable and writable binary format. This would have been actually importing and exporting it to a file instead. Actually, okay, yeah, I don't get it. Import, export. Okay, I gotta go over this system again in the future. Whatever, it's gone. It's gone. That's what's that. That's what matters. Um, almost gone. Camera needs to go. Goodbye. Maybe they were old versions? Perhaps. Registration. Camera, camera. This was some stuff going on in here. Camera pool, gone. Okay, can I just get rid of camera as well on here? Camera pool, camera system, they're both gone. Okay. <clears throat> system. Position camera right here. Initialization for the camera system because graphics. Gone. The camera. This the armature system. I'm sorry. Camera pool is gone. Okay, hold on. Need to include the armature. This is gone. Okay, this is no longer relevant, actually, at all. Mm, this camera system is just not required anymore. You don't process it that way. Okay. Let's check. XR... Oh, nope. Um, why? Error, failed to find the importer for camera. Okay, I have the, the data is still trying to be imported. Let's just uh, remove it. Set that ID to be recycled. Okay, 2D looks okay. 2D is not affecting the XR camera. Let's put the headset on for a second. Look over there, that looks correct.
Okay. That's a lot of stuff going away. Okay. So that's going to be basically it for this session. So I have a basic render view pool, but what I want to do is I want to be able to split off the stuff behind uh, it. So what I'm, okay, let me open this properly. I want to split off the, like the simulation buffer and the other sub buffer thing, like the ability to have like a, like a CPU buffer and then copy it out to other buffers because this is not only useful just for the currently hard coded version of um, the render views, you know, the the ma the four by four matrix for uh, the camera. It's also incredibly useful for things such as model matrices. So I want to be able to do it like the position, you know, the position system for like individual models, as well as like the bones, the bone system, the VK animation system. Like I want to be able to put all, I want to be able to like in a simulation loop as many times as required, update a CPU buffer. And then when it comes time to the graphics, copy that buffer into the graphics visible area of memory and then use that. And because it's basically doing kind of the same thing. And I want to abstract that out to like some kind of sub something system, some subsystem of some sort to do that with. But that'll be next time. But for now, like I got a lot of camera stuff. I'm going to like just double check all this stuff and then I'm going to like uh, commit it and stuff. So until next time, cheers.